All right, good afternoon, Internet. I am here today in Phuket, Thailand, and I'm getting ready to travel to Northern Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos. And I thought this was a good time that I could uh, make a little video answering a question, a very common question I get from friends and family. And that question is, how do you travel for so long with so little? And I answer that question with, what are you talking about? I have a lot of stuff. You can see it all here if I spread, lay it all out. And uh, so I just want to do a quick video about everything I take with me for traveling for work or fun or both and um, how I'm able to, to travel for so long with um, what many think is a very little amount of stuff. So let's dive in. So I wanted to go through uh, what are the essential things that I always bring when I'm traveling uh, so that way I can cover both work, uh, you know, travel and fun and also record uh, the videos that I make, um, mostly for myself, but also to share with families and friends. So if we look through uh, the things that we have here, you'll see, starting over here, I have a little tiny light that I bring in case it's really, really dark and I wanna film something. I have my little Osmo Pocket here, which is a great little handy camera for getting beautiful shots on a gimbal. Uh, and then you can see I have like the additional accessories for it here. A uh, little micro SD card in case. And then I have my GoPro and my GoPro case here, which is nicely housed inside its own little protective pouch. Here I have a little tiny uh, cell phone tripod, which is great if you want to get some shots uh, somewhere, whether it's a time lapse or something like that, you can just do it on your phone uh, or even like interviews. A nice little tripod that pops up and uh, can give me like a nice little steady shot sitting on a table or something. Uh, also, I have a little uh, wireless microphone that I was very fortunate. My friend Sean sold me. It's a great little wireless microphone that records to its own micro SD card. So you don't have to worry about wireless mics and wireless receivers on your camera. It really reduces your amount of audio equipment that you need and gives you a nice little compact microphone for recording. Then you see I have a HDMI cord and a connection for my laptop, which is very important for me if I'm trying to do editing. I can connect to the big screen TV at a hotel or an Airbnb, uh, watch movies and edit more efficiently. Now you see I have a GoPro and some additional GoPro gear, charger, headphones. I think something very important is a little power bank to bring with you. Uh, so if you have an emergency and you need to like charge something, you have a small power bank to like get one charge out of something. Uh, something I find very useful is also like uh, old broken, uh, sunglasses cases because they can be great little cases for just kind of small items and loose items we throw them all in one little place and they're neatly compact. Now pretty much all of this equipment, um, all of my production equipment, video and audio and lighting equipment, can all fit into this little tiny bag right here which is great for like a day hike um, around or just you know if I want to be able to easily uh, access any of my equipment uh, I put it all in there. Now, the only really big thing I have is this behemoth of a laptop, but it's hard to get 32 gigs of RAM and an operating system and video cards that you want and everything else into a small laptop. <laughs> so I built this thing, it's a 17 inch, it's kind of big. Uh, then you see here a little tablet for watching movies on the go or reading. Uh, so this is my little Kindle Fire. And then here in this box, which I haven't opened yet, is my little Mavic Air Mini. So it's my new drone. So. Again, everything I have for media production-wise is pretty compact, pretty small. Something I can't work without is a mouse, so I have a wireless mouse here. I find myself so much more efficient on a laptop with a mouse. Now, a couple additional things I would bring. Uh, this is a little tiny waterproof like fanny pack. So if you want to be able to make, ensure that some things that can't get wet don't get wet, they can fit inside there. Uh, sometimes, not all the time, but I'll also bring a bigger dry bag, which is a uh, like backpack dry bag. Uh, here I have a little toiletry bag, so all my essentials, deodorant, toothpaste, you know, razor, whatever else you need, all fits pretty nicely in there. Um, now as far as clothes, I'm very, very limited on what I bring for clothes, and I do this on purpose. If it's a work trip, I may bring a pair of jeans or something nice, so I have a, a, you know, at least a pair of pants to wear. Uh, most of my work functions are not like black tie events, so it's like, you know, dress casual. Um, and then usually I only bring like one pair of shorts, and this pair of shorts is great because it doubles as both like an act, uh, active wear shorts, like swimming or running or hiking, 
but they're also just like everyday shorts. So they're very comfortable. And also bringing some really lightweight, almost like swim trunk style shorts. I can get wet, they can dry off really easily. But then this also avoids me having to bring any sort of underwear, which is takes up room and just makes you hotter, especially in tropical climates. Uh, now I bring a pair of nice walking, hiking, or running shoes, and only a couple pairs of socks, because if I use them every day, I can just wash them, <clears throat> let them dry, wear them again. And the same with everything else. I only bring about three or four t-shirts. Uh, two of them are usually like kind of lightweight dress shirts, almost like athletic dry fit type shirts. So they dry really, really easily, but also you can still relatively look nice. And then just a couple of t-shirts, usually all solid colors, make it really easy to match. <laughs> Of course, you need your trusty pair of flip-flops. And that's really about it. If I'm planning on motorcycling, I also bring a small helmet, which is very, very small. It's like a skull cap. Uh, it's traveled with me to a lot of countries. And so all of this stuff can last me, especially even the clothes, can literally last me months while traveling. And people are like, oh, but don't your clothes get dirty? Don't you need more clothes? It's like, well, no. A, I'm traveling, so I don't see the same people day after day after day. So. The person in the next town over won't know I wore this shirt on Monday. And then most of the time, I wash my clothes when I'm in the shower, wring them out, let them dry. We're in a tropical climate. They're usually dry within, you know, let's say 12 hours at the most, uh, except for jeans, <laughs> which I don't hand wash. Um, and yeah, everything, I mean, I can literally get by with just this limited amount of clothes for you know, two months, three months. If I really, really need something else, I'll buy it. Uh, Something you don't see here is usually a little tiny plastic raincoat that I'll bring with me to just kind of full body raincoat uh, for rainy emergencies. But what's great is everything that you see here all fits inside this bag, including this small bag down in the bottom. And all of this weighs under seven kg, which means that I don't have to pay for additional baggage. I don't check anything. This bag and this weight of everything is allowable on pretty much every airline as a carry-on. Uh, so if I need to lighten the load, I can take this out and then that's considered one, one carry-on and this is considered a personal item and it might lighten that load if let's say there was a five kg weight restriction on a carry-on bag. But that's it, you can see that uh, although it looks like a lot of stuff when you spread it all out, that when you pack it up, put it in a bag and travel with it, it's self-contained, everything I need to live on the road, in hotels, in Airbnbs, motorcycling, camping, hiking, going on a boat. Everything I need is right here. So hopefully that answers the question of like, how do you travel for so long with such a little amount of stuff? And it's really just breaking it down to what are your priorities? And obviously what is the weight limit maximum that you can carry with you? And again, with all of this in this bag, it's not too cumbersome, it's not too big, it's not too heavy. And uh, it's one thing I hate is like having like just too much stuff and you're walking around, you're like, oh God, this is my back, oh, there's so much stuff I have to carry. No, 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 I want everything to be light, easily accessible and easy to, to travel with. So anyway, I hope that answers some questions. Um, look forward to a, another sailing video coming out next week. And then we should be traveling to Northern Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos with my friend Tiffany with her Live Amplified Network. And we'll should be bringing you some pretty exciting videos uh, of me working and traveling and having fun there. So thanks for watching and see you next episode.